Okay, just a quick video. Uh, one of them, ba them batteries out there that seemed like it was charging. Uh, I took off all the deck lift. I uh, cleaned up under here a good bit. I got everything off the other motor on here. Uh, I put this top on it with this uh, air filter. I was gonna leave you. I got the brand new fuel line on it, fuel in it, put the new seat on it, changed the uh, the kickoff of the other seat and put it on here for this wiring. All I gotta do is get the battery done and uh, fire up, which it is charging. It's uh, red, so. If I saw that inside, I went ahead and, uh, that's what I said, took the brand. What I did is actually, they're identical motors like I was saying, but this, mo this motor right here was all plastic. And it had a, a screw in it that held the studs in. And I didn't like that, so I took the uh, intake off, the uh, air breather intake, the carburetor. Everything came off of, uh. This motor, this motor did run at one time, so I took all the parts off of that and put on the other one. Here's another identical one. Uh, starter's missing off this one because we took two starters, which that one's got a good starter. This motor's good. This motor's just going to go on for like a go-kart. Uh, I took the cool pack off, or the cool, took that off. I cleaned up the flywheel. So I said I put the fuel and I put the fuel shut off on it. So he got at winter time he can, he can just let it run dry. I gotta put caps on the wheels. This one's missing one it looks like. That one's got one. Uh the back's back's got one. That back's got one, so I got what put a cap on there, make sure they're greased. Everything's working really well. It turns over. It doesn't doesn't start or anything yet, uh, because that bat it needs a new battery. Let me go ahead and uh, unhook that. I'll show you, it probably ain't even gonna try anything. Yeah, the battery need. that's what I said, the battery needs charged. Or it needs a battery. Whatever direction we finally decide to go. I'm trying to put this on here. That. That might work. Leave it on there all night. That'd be all right. And then I'll take this. I can put this in here. And this is just a, or I'll put it over here. It's a simple battery tender. When that turns green, it's fully charged. Let's go ahead and, uh, Close the door up. I cleaned the shop up a little bit today too. And that's the depth forever. Uh, so when it, on your battery tenders, if you never work with them, when that's green, that means it's fully charged, so. This is not going to be a mud mower or anything. It's actually going to be uh, just for around the farm, that uh, tractor out there. And then this tractor right here will be for a go-kart. But this one's going back to where it came from. I got to take off uh, part of the mowing deck. Pieces are they're bent. I got to get all that up. I want to try to get all the clearance I can, like just like a mow, mower or off-road mower. And it worked perfect for him. It's got a little bit of play in the steering wheel, but it's an old mower, and this is the best thing about it.
it's a peerless. I'm pretty sure it's a gear drop. And I think that's what the other one is too. Ain't that right, Shanae? No, this one says it's an automatic. But doesn't mean it ain't gear drive. Cause it, it's it's uh clicking just like regular gears would be. Now it's it's a gear drive. It's And this would be fine. This, like I said, this motor's coming off. I could probably do some work to it and try to get it running, but there ain't no sense. This is uh, 16.5. Got another tank. Because look in that tank. So. Go kart, workhorse. So. Alright. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. You didn't. Thumbs down, at least you watch one, and bye till later.